This is Sandra Perez Glushenkov, author of the international best-selling novel, Francisca's Box. I have to say I was shocked when I saw my, no my name associated with the word best-selling, especially uh, when writing in English. Let me explain. Um, Spanish is my mother language. I was born and raised in Argentina, the home of the largest Jewish community in Latin America. It's a traditional community and strongly Zionist. I grew up there during the years of the Dairy War, uh, a war that targeted anything that stood uh, against them. And uh, Jews were a target of the military due to the Nazi ideology of the military. Many fled, many Jews were able to fled, but many thousands disappeared. What was happening to the people in my country at the time was not very different to what happened to my family before settling down in South America. I can trace my lineage all the way back to the Spanish Inquisition and then finally until they um, settled in Argentina in the late 1940s. Uh, my experiences, uh, the stories of war, immigration, the different foods and accents I grew up surrounded by uh, make up for who I am as a woman and as a storyteller and it is, that is what drives my passion for writing Jewish historical fiction. When I set out to write my latest novel, Francis's Box, I could feel um, the energy and the heroic um, characteristics of Queen Esther and Francisca. But Francisca was a woman of modern times, beautiful, stoic, impenetrable, just like my Romanian grandmother. Uh, growing up, I always wondered about the secrets behind her beautiful eyes, behind a smile that never lit her face. That led me to think about my grandparents' flight from Romania and that of a large number of Jews that escaped Europe and ended up in Argentina. Um, throughout uh, the stories I heard uh, uh, while growing up and research, I could put together all the difficulties that they went through until they got into um, Argentina. And then I could feel the shock of these exhausted immigrants when they came face to face with the very same people that persecuted them throughout Europe, which are the Nazi criminals that were now living down the street from them, safe, protected in a country governed by Peron, a rabid anti-Semite. And so the story found its place in time, found its voice, found its heart. I could feel Francisca's strength and I could feel her carrying with her a broken heart. I could see her being chased by secrets that would eventually destroy her and those around her. Francisca's box is not just a story about World War II, but it deals with the continuation of war well after the troops retired and well beyond its historical ending time. This is a story about our history. It's a story about our power to forgive and not forget. And it's a story about new beginnings. I hope uh, that you enjoy the read and that we can continue this conversation in your communities. Ciao.